what Balanced View offers is an education in the nature of mind and a way to really get to know ourselves as we really are, um, to get to know reality as it really is, and um, to get to know ourselves in a way, you know, facing ourselves, you could say, fully, but that facing is in complete relaxation. It's not like a facing, you know? <laughs> now I'm going to face myself. Like face off the movie. Or something. <laughs> facing ourselves is just totally natural, completely natural. Everything as it is, like more, more natural than I had ever assumed natural to be within a description of natural. Natural being you know, making no effort whatsoever to be any other way apart from exactly as you are right now. Like however your mind is right now. Whatever the thoughts and emotions are, the sensations in the body, just allowing everything to naturally flow as it is. The experiences, the data streams, as we call them in the teaching. And, um, yeah, this really, for me, this really revealed to me, meeting the teaching, was really the first time I saw how much effort I was putting into life into just um, being okay without even realizing it. Just what was completely acceptable, like a standard of living, a standard of effort, a standing of, a standard of striving, was just completely acceptable. So much so that it just became who I was, like striving to really enjoy the sunset, <laughs> really enjoy paradise locations. Does anyone know that? Like, you kind of go to the beautiful place and then you're like there with your friends and you're all like, now we're really enjoying ourselves. Is it? Now we're finally, I'm really enjoying myself. This is it because all the elements are in place. The people, the sunset, the sand. God, see, now this is enjoyment because this equals, it's the formula, it's the life formula. And I've got it down. So, you know, A plus B plus C. You know, we all know that formula. <laughs> equals enjoyment equals all of the right data, the right data to be the right human being that's doing everything right and then maybe, maybe finally I can just relax, you know, because I'm acing this life thing, I've got it down. And that was just my entire existence was trying to get this formula in place and busying myself in any way I could any way I could to, in order to feel like I was getting there. I was getting there. So getting to the beautiful places with the beautiful people and you know, having the beautiful experiences, feeling as beautiful as I could, whatever way that meant. But basically all that was going on was the constant descriptions in my mind, the narrative of everything that was occurring and trying to manipulate and change that narrative through changing outer circumstances or just changing my thoughts and emotions. Now, this way of living, I mean, just to think for a moment, it was so, it was so normal, it was so completely normal just to focus upon all of my experiences in order to have an outcome of a moment, a passing moment of feeling like I'm enjoying myself. Because every single moment is just fresh and new. All the experiences, anything we're thinking or feeling, we can't hold on to them. The data streams, they're naturally self-releasing, like, like mist in the air or arising and vanishing naturally, like the flight path of a bird in the sky. We can't hold on to anything that we're experiencing. But, oh my God, did I try? <laughs> or not just hold on to it, but recreate it in any given moment in order to have just the right data sets, just the right, you know, positive combination of data streams arising. So, you know, feeling, you know, fe feeling happy, <clears throat> definitely feeling like everyone liked me. That was really high up there and required a lot of effort. I mean, because that's based on my thoughts about other people, what I think they're thinking, and therefore changing how I'm behaving in order to get my thoughts about what they're thinking to look right. I mean, 
it's an endless effort. And um, and so yeah, picturing people like me, happy, um, yeah, f feeling confident and on top of things, like feeling like a an intelligent person. So saying the right things, having the right things come out of my mouth, like you know, having debates. They were like you know like. Maybe people still like having debates. I don't know, and um, and like having a debate and then saying that thing. It's like pow, cha cha, yeah. I'm just like <laughs> so intelligent. And now I'll relax. I'll just say like, because everything's okay because I won that argument. And um, yeah, everyone forever went more will just know. And um, and. Basically, this this constant effort that's being applied to changing, to keeping the data streams looking a certain way, to keeping this internal world and external world indivisibly maintained in a way that pleases me and enables me, really, when I look at it, ultimately, just to simply relax, just to feel like I was okay. That is a whole lot of effort. There's a whole lot of effort for that project. And I know that it's a whole lot of effort because I've met this teaching and I've been introduced to the nature of my mind. I've been introduced to something about me that is always okay. And not just okay as in, yeah, I'm all right, I'm okay. Like, okay, like the big okay, <laughs> like so okay, like awesome, awesomely okay. No matter what is going on. No matter how I feel, and that isn't a distanced relationship with feeling, it's feeling everything fully, and within that feeling, seeing there is incredible stability, openness, empowerment, profound benefit, and that nothing, nothing takes this away, this stability, this openness, this love, this warmth, that is naturally, naturally the capacity my capacity, the capacity of being human. And, um, and what we get introduced to, this stability of mind, this fundamental nature, through the Balanced View Training, we call open intelligence. And to introduce yourself, simply stop thinking for a moment. What remains? Powerful intelligence that's open like sky. Alert, clear, cognizant. Aware, your power to know. Open intelligence. It's always been there. It always will be there. It's what knows the next thought. It's what knows this current moment. It's perceiving all data equally, without exception your fundamental nature, indivisible from all data streams, whatever they may be. Indivisible like the color blue in the sky, data vividly appearing like a rainbow in space, not separate from the space, pervaded by space, yet vividly apparent, seemingly something there. So is our data and open intelligence. And when we recognize open intelligence, when we recognize the true context, you could say, of our experience, we access, we access our true intelligence. We access the capacity we truly have to be in every single moment. Like Candace mentioned in the talk, rather than collapsing all of our focus down onto single data streams, whatever they may be that are appearing in our awareness. Could be tiredness, <laughs> could be how we're feeling or um, speaking with others, could be feeling like we're not really that bothered about the sun sunset. <laughs> I was going to say sunrise, but I don't. I don't often see that, so. <laughs> um, so I like it when I do. Um, <clears throat> whatever, you know, whatever might be arising that we can recognize in that moment, this aspect, this quality 
of our thoughts and emotions, of our data streams, that is open intelligence, that's forever open, bright, clear, powerful. And we see that the data streams, they arise and they resolve, the tiredness too <laughs> comes and it goes. Rising naturally, resolving back into the basic space of open intelligence, its true nature. So we can, for short moments, recognize open intelligence. Repeat it again and again until open intelligence becomes continuous, until we recognize the, the full context of every moment. It's like accessing the wisdom, the wisdom that's present as our intelligence, the full picture. Because as we collapse into the data streams, that's really all we see. You know, it's like, it's like being in a valley. When you look around, you just see the walls of the mountains compared to being on the mountain top, where you see all the paths, all the tracks, all the ways to go. This is a short moment of open intelligence with that perspective. This is what our intelligence is. This is what we have available to us in every single moment, every single human being not moving datum to datum, locked in to one datum with a description attached to it and taking that to be true, but open, totally open, responsive, empowered, free, really free, free to change in an instant, not locked into any framework of being, free to respond and live for the benefit of all. And this is what we really get to know in this teaching and this training is that is our true nature and that's the true nature of all of our data streams because in short moments of open intelligence we allow our data just to be as it is so with the question about reading text it's brilliant and you answered it brilliantly too short moments <laughs> and i can you know I'm, I'm i can definitely relate to the complete relaxation of this teaching and having experiences myself also you know different being in teaching settings and <laughs> feeling the completely like falling asleep you know teachings with Candice and being like no 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 I mustn't <laughs> and um but you know make not to make anything out of it this is what's so so amazing this is the choice we have we don't need to make a story out of anything and this is a relief it's a real relief because they're the relationship that we have with our data streams. Basically, we can, we can, in this understanding that these appearances have a power and an independent nature, what we've tended to do is indulge them. They go into them and um, try to sort of unpick them and work them out in order to feel okay and understand them. Or we've tried to replace them. If it's been a horrible one with better ones, so with the sleep it might be, you know, replacing it with splashing water on our face or, <laughs> um, or, or then we avoid them because we just don't want to have that experience and maybe we don't read the text because we want to avoid that but then we have a fourth choice a choice in how we approach that with short moments and this is so radical it's complete perceptual openness it's completely allowing everything to be as it is it's giving all over into the power of open intelligence without trying to control you know the data stream in any way and um, the texts Candace's texts have great power um, there's been people who've come to this teaching and not spoken a word of English and they have empowered their recognition of open intelligence so for us to limit it to the meaning of the words only is to limit the power of the text and um, so approaching it with that complete openness I would love to see what occurs you know it's um and in like with the practice of short moments repeating again and again continuing on because I see with the form so the four mainstays is the empowerment sy system the power empowerment network of balanced view and all the advice I'm ever given um, say to take up you know to test short moments or to test the trainings to see how that is for me it brings it brings incredible benefit it brings 
it fruits incredible benefit in my experience. And so having the openness to um, yeah, really test that. And maybe reading the text with someone else. <laughs> Being in a training. It's uncomfortable to un indulge our data. It's like, and sooner or later, I see that for myself, you know? And, um, and so it's, it's beautiful just to, to see, you know, to really like see clearly and see how we would want to approach something. And it's so understandable also that you might not want to share all, all details with everybody. And, uh, and so, yeah, we get to see, we reveal to ourselves so much in, in that way and choices maybe for like future op times and, and really allowing the data to be as it is, really allowing that wish and urgency to to share and really seeing what will serve us and what will serve everyone, what will be of greatest benefit. And that's what I just see from this teaching is like that openness to look at situations and really learn from my experience and move forward in a way where, um, <coughs> yeah, so, oh, actually, I, I don't think I want to um, share about myself incessantly in that way. And I want to, yeah, it will be much more comfortable rely on open intelligence and share in a more natural way or what will serve.